everyone, welcome to Creative Coloring with Iram. The cards that I'll be sharing today will focus on the gorgeous wallpaper art stamp set. For my first card, I'll use the permanent black ink to stamp the images uh, since I'll be using artist markers to color. I'll start by stamping one flower, I'll then mask it. I'm using the wallpaper art mask stencil for masking and securing it with alternate glue tape. I place the mask after um, my outline, um, the outline of the image uh, that I am masking. In this way you get seamless stamped pattern and even if you miss a bit of stamping you can always use a permanent black pen to connect the lines. I have completely covered uh, one side of the panel because I'll be cutting this off uh, later on. Uh, for now, I'll color the flower first using the rose petal set of artist markers, which are available in set D. I'll start by adding the darkest color that is cosmic berry. I'll blend this out with purple wine. I'll also add purple wine to the notches on the ends of the petal. I'll blend this with the next color in the in this family which is puffy heart. In the end I'll add rose quartz for seamless uh, blending. I always color from dark to light. This works for me and I also use tip to tip method if I want to add a different shade uh, to my image. I'll list the colors on the screen too but um, I'll let you know here as well that for the leaves I'll use green field set and for the background I'll use seashore artist markers. I'll leave you with some music, I will be right back. After I'm done with the colouring, I'll fussy cut along the outline of the stamped image. After this, I realised I forgot to colour the flower centre for um, this. I used caramel toffee, warm sunshine and buttercream artist markers. For the card front, I'll add some scored lines uh, for interest. I'm using pale grey cardstock for the uh, card front. And to finish, I'll just adhere the sentiment strip. 
I love how this card turned out. I'm especially loving the leaves. They look so good. And this is the first time I am coloring the leaves dark uh, on the edges and lighter in the uh, middle with the mid ribbons. Uh, these colors work very well together. Well, my second card is uh, simple. I'll just be adding a bit of pencil color shading. I already stamped a flower and a couple of leaves from the stamp set in permanent black ink. I'll start by adding the darkest color closer to the flower center, then a couple of lighter shades and move to the tip of the petal. This is just shading, I'll not be adding a ton of details to this. I'll also use a blending stump to blend some of the color out. I'll do this just on the tip of the petals. I'll take a point one black pen and add more sketchy lines to the petals just to change the look of the flower a bit. For the leaves, I'll use the same colors and add color to the midrib of the leaves and also add those uh, sketchy lines. Once the images are shaded, I'll work on the card front. I'll add a few black paint splatters and I'll let them dry. Then adhere the images with foam tape. To finish, I'll adhere a sentiment tab that is a white heat embossed uh, hello on black cardstock and that's it. My second card is done too. I like the pop of green and all the black uh, tidbits. You can do this um, in any color you like. My last card is super easy. I'll watercolor um, on this one uh, using the 36 pan set by Altenew. I already went ahead and heat embossed the images in golden peach embossing powder, which is a gorgeous um, embossing powder by the way. For the leaves, I'll start by adding bamboo watercolor. I'll spread this around a bit and then add forest glades watercolor as stippling near and on the midrib. This type of uh, watercolor is super fast and easy. I'll start by adding a light color wash of cotton candy pigment. I'll add a more concentrated pigment near the flower center. To add more depth, I'll add grape wine watercolor. After I'm done adding the pink watercolors, I'll go back in and add a bit of yellow watercolor. I'm using citrus burst watercolor and it's your choice if you want to add yellow to all or some of the petals. You can see that the flower below um, has yellow on all the petals and it has a different look than the flower I'm coloring. my background, I'll add tons of water onto the panel and add bamboo watercolor. I'll also mix a bit of forest glades to this. Next I'll add splatters of forest glades for some texture. I'll let this dry for a bit. You can use your heat gun to make the process faster. Once dry, I'll add fine black paint splatters and after this I'll arrange the flowers and leaves. In the end, I'll adhere my sentiment uh, strip and add a few more black paint splatters. I think three is a crowd in this case. I might remove the extra flower at the top. It looks too full, especially now more because that I've reduced uh, my complete card size to 4 by 5.5. Well, that is it for today. Um, isn't the wallpaper art stamp set beautiful? I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching. Bye.